If you're playing NBA 2K25, you've realized something very important. There's 30 things going on. There's a season pass, there's rep rewards, overall, there's quests. There's so many things this year to pay attention to. It's too much. What I'm doing in this video is I'm gonna make it super simple. There's five things in this game that you need to make goals for yourself to unlock. And once you unlock all these things, you are going to be broken in NBA 2K25. Give boss out to the pack. It is pack here. <laughs> If you like the kind of content of NBA 2K25 when it comes to tips and help, please join the pack and subscribe. Let's go. First up, an honorable mention, the GOAT mask. So this has been a debate in the beginning of the game when it dropped. If you unlocked the GOAT mask by going into my career and doing the my career GOAT list and getting to the very top and getting seven NBA championships and passing Michael Jordan as the GOAT, you get a GOAT mask in full outfit. That outfit was giving people 1.5 times rep boost. That was a fact, but they patched it now and it doesn't give you anything anymore. So all the people that are telling you to get this mask and work hard for it, do not, it doesn't work anymore. First up is you're going to get your workout warrior. So if you're tired of going to the Gatorade facility and doing workouts to get your extra boost, you can now get your boost unlimited forever. Extra boost is very, very important in this game because more stamina means you can dribble for longer and get better shots open. So you're gonna go to the Gatorade training facility, do your workouts every single week when they reset. And eventually after you do 12 unique workouts, you'll get a 99 overall stamina and you'll get to keep it forever next thing at number two is your rebirth you're gonna unlock rebirth this is important because if any of you have played nba 2k you realize your first build sucks maybe not sucks but it's just not as good as what it's supposed to be you learn things later in the game of what you personally like and you don't want to have to grind a build from scratch all over again this year your rebirth can go up to a 99 overall so it means if you get to a 99 with your player you can unlock your rebirth at 99 with all silver badges to start off. Now, to get your rebirth, all you have to do is get to a 90 overall and you get an automatic rebirth at 90. You need to get that immediately. Next thing you're gonna do is unlock your level five takeover. Takeover in this game is really hard to get, I'll just be honest with you. But when you get it, you get broken abilities, like being able to shoot from behind half court consistently. But to do that, you need to reach your level five. You need to reach that level of bar on your takeover meter 10 times. And this is pretty hard because they give you no takeover this year in games. You're gonna have to grind probably my career and probably go on rookie difficulty just to get your takeover over 10 times over and over and over again it's very boring but once you get it you get takeover and you get to be broken oh my god at number four it's the season rewards i know a lot of you do not want to deal with the season and i get it some of you don't want to pay for it but there's certain things you need to unlock if you want to be great in this game level 15 is the first one you want to reach it gives you a tier two plus one on any badge in your tier two. So let's say I have, for example, my dimer was on bronze, but now I got a plus one on it and now I get a dimer on gold. That's a perfect example of that. Next thing you're gonna hit is level 30. Level 30 does the exact same thing, but instead of your tier two badges, you gotta do it on your tier one badges. That means any of my badges that's available, I can make it go from gold to hall of fame for example for lightning launch then you need to hit level 35 this gives you the 15 percent rep boost on an item that you wear so 1.15 times more rep in the long run is a lot especially if you start stacking this on with other pieces of clothing or other events this becomes a lot more and rep matters i'll get to why in a second the final one is level 40. it can give you a plus two badge elevator on any badge of your choosing that only works on badges that allows you to do that okay if your build caps out like i can't get posterized on hall of fame because i can't get it any higher than 96 overall but my pick dodger can probably go up to a gold or even a hall of fame that's the example. Still, having badges on higher and higher is only a good thing. Finally, at number five, it's rep targets. So every time you upgrade in your rep, you get a reward. Some of these don't matter. Some of these are really important. Here are a couple that are super essential that you need to hit. First things first, starter two gives you recharge boost, which means on top of your workout warrior that gives you extra stamina, you lose less stamina and you recharge stamina faster with this badge. You need this if you're someone that dribbles a lot. Then you want to hit starter three. Starter three gives you a 
plus five cap boost, which means if you have a build with a 94 three point shot, you can do plus five to make it a 99. That's the difference between having gold badges and legend badges in shooting. On starter four, which is the next one, you get brand new animations that only starter fours can access to. And this matters because some animations are broken like the De'Aaron Fox animations. Starter five gives you takeover boost. It's almost impossible to get your takeover in park. It is a lot easier when you have this boost. Then finally, the last realistic one is veteran two. If you play this game all year, you'll probably hit veteran two and get another cap breaker plus five on anything you want. Those are the most important things you need to unlock in NBA 2K25. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.